I sure can't be wearing this face in town till it's changed a mite. <laughs> When it comes to choosing between my whiskers or my neck, I reckon my whiskers got to go. Ain't that right, Raven? What's the matter, Raven? Don't you know me? <laughs> Listen to this, Raven. Dear Sheriff Flagg, so you've sworn to capture me single-handed. If you don't hurry up, you won't have to shoot me. I'll be dead from old age. All right. That looks like an Indian signal. I got a hunch that means trouble. I guess that fellow at Lobo was right about that Indian uprising. Oh, that engine's alone. Maybe he don't mean no harm. Yeah, but I'd feel a lot easier if there was just the two of them. Yeah. You know, I warned that girl about trouble. She wouldn't listen to me. What do you little boys think you're doing? Chasing stages. You better get back to the reservation before somebody sticks the militia on you. Yeah. Leave your artillery here till you sober up. Come on, get going.
Sure much obliged, young fella. That was sure slick work. And I figured those young bucks were up to some devilment. A few shots of red eye and they want to go on the war path like their ancestors. <laughs> well, after the treatment you give them, I reckon they'll go back to the government school and behave themselves. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank you, too. You were marvelous. I've hit it since I was a little girl. Are you interested in coins? Why, uh, yes, I'm sort of a collector. Interesting, isn't it? We better get started, Miss Judy. All right. If you're ever near the Eight Bar Ranch, I hope you'll drop in. The Eight Bar? Why, that's Sheriff Flagg's ranch, isn't it? Yes, he's my uncle. Do you know him? Well, uh, yes and no. Well, anyway, I'm sure he'd be glad to see you. I'm positive of it. Well, I'll have to be moseying along. I sure will. Go on. Goodbye, boys. the country, all right. Well, what's he look like? Well, he's tall, kind of youngish, and he's got wavy hair. He usually wears black chaps. And that fellow that we just met. Uh, you mean the little fat fellow with the, with the black shirt and the white beard? Oh, sure, why, he couldn't have been the wolf. And that's the only one that we met. We might as well double back then, fellas. What does it say? Yeah, what does it say? If you're going to plaster up the scenery with my pictures, I'll send you a new one. Then it's got his trademark on it, too. Well, I'll be cow kicked by a mule. And we just put that up five minutes ago. Can you beat that? Oh, well, well, sure. Put a at boys. Well, boy, he sure is. Joe. Hello, Judy. 
So you got here all right. Of course I did. I've been here three days. Yes? How are you, Uncle Joe? Oh, I'm plum tuckered out. Lion six, Joseph. Where have you been all this time? Ma, how many times have I asked you not to call me Joseph? You know it riles me always. Joseph. Uh, where else would I be but out chasing that dinged lone wolf? Did you catch him? No, I didn't catch him. We just kept playing tag till I ran out of supplies. What on earth are you talking about? What am I talking about? Well, he kept leaving these here billy days for me, and I knew he was only a few miles away. The Lamb of Satan. Tag ain't no uh, game for grown-ups, Sheriff. If you get dizzy, let me know, and we'll turn around and run the other way. Having a fine time. Wish you were here. In case your water supply runs out, you'll find my canteen full a half mile further on. Did he? Did he what? Leave the water. Yes, he did it. Along with some supplies. Uh, that was pretty decent, wasn't it? Decent? Why, the young monkey, if he's going in for this outlaw business, why can't he be dignified about it? He won't be so funny when I catch him. And I will, too, if it's the last thing I do. Mm, likely it will be. You'll feel better after you've had some supper, oh, Uncle oh, Joe. Of course he will. Come along, Joseph. Everything's ready. Will you stop calling me Joseph? <laughs> two hours ago, but he does most of his trading at Lone Pine. Say, there's the Lone Wolf, fellas. So there's a big reward on him, dead or alive. Let's get him. Listen, my trouble ain't with you, fellas. I'm looking for Cantrell. I wonder where he's gone. He must have gone up the creek. Yeah, that's what he's done. Yeah. Yeah. Up the creek, boys.
He got away. Well, let's go after him. No use. He's got too much head start with that horse head. He's hey, right. Too fast. Yeah, we never get him. Sure. Right. Figure we can call on Mr. Cantrell at Lone Pine now without an escort? Maybe this is being blamed for a lot of things these Indians have done. Maybe. But we know that guy ran off a bunch of the bridal bit cattle. Then robbed Cantrell's foreman of the payroll. Not that it hurts my feelings to see Steve Cantrell get the worst of it, but law is law. Who is Cantrell? I seem to remember the name. Why, of course you do. Don't you remember that time you visited us when you was a little girl and old Bruce Wallace was killed? And when the red is well, they found he'd left his ranch to his foreman, this Cantrell. Instead of to his son, Keen. Yes, I remember now. Keen accused Cantrell of having shot his father. But he couldn't prove anything. And then he ran away. That's right. And I've never heard a word of that boy since. I reckon he's dead. Maybe not. See, you two youngsters were kind of clever playmates, weren't you? I'll never forget how mad you got that Christmas when he broke your last oh, bottle of bourbon whiskey. <laughs> it seems as though the... Um, Wolf has a special grudge against the bridal bit, doesn't it? Yeah. How about another cup of coffee? Well, give me your cup, Joseph. Don't call me Joseph! see why you always split with us, Cantrell. You always went all our dough back afterwards. I always give you a run for your money, don't I? <laughs> do you? What do you mean by that crack? <laughs> I didn't mean anything. I was only kidding. You know, Jackson, you're not very funny to me. Deal me out. I'm clean. Brain work isn't exactly in your line, is it, Brute? <laughs> oh, why, why, sure, boss. I brained a guy once when I was wrestling in the big town. One. I'll play these. I'll raise your ten. I'll have to call you with the works. How come you had the Queen of Spades? Is there any law against it? I happen to discard it. Your eyesight's kind of gone back on you, ain't it, Jackson? I tell you, I... Are you insinuating I cheated? I'm not insinuating anything. I just... You uh... just made a mistake. <laughs> sure, reckon I need glasses. Come on. I'll buy you all a drink before we go home. Let's go home. Eh? Let's go home. I don't think we've got time. Let's go home. All right.
I hear you managed to get rid of your beef this time before the lone wolf got his hands on him. You're lucky. They say he's around this part of the country again. I guess we're safe today. He never show up. When the boss is with us. That's right. He's mighty careful to keep out of my way. There's nothing I like better, though, than to meet this wolf face to face. If you'll just turn around, you'll get your wish. Lay your artillery on the bar, gents. And don't forget your shoulder gun, Cantrell. How'd you know I had one? You guess. Come on. Now hand over that money you collected for your cattle. You're going to suffer for this when I catch you. You mean if you catch me. I never yet heard of a sidewinder catching a wolf. Set up the drinks, bartender. Hard liquor. For these three gents. I'm particular who I set them up for. Just a little souvenir, boys. Come on, let's get it. Come here, get up, Raven. Why, he must have flew. <laughs> What's funny about it? Uh, we saved him the trouble of rustling the beef, <laughs> and he got the money just the same. Well, of all the impudent, infernal, crazy tricks. Funny, ain't you? Playing jokes on the law. You'll just wait till I get my hands on you. Don't look hot enough yet.
Pick him up. Show me your backs. Messing up one of the sheriff's calves, are you? Let him up. Just what are you going to do about it, Mr. Lone Wolf? I'm going to turn you birds over to the sheriff. You're, you're, you're what? <laughs> That's funny. I always heard you were full <laughs> of jokes. <laughs> yeah, but this isn't one of them. Get going. Get up. That's a great pal you got. At least your friend won't get home any too soon. Remember, Stealing cattle only gets you a term in jail, but telling who I am means hot lead. What can I do for you? I just found this hombre doing some fancy work on one of your calves. Putting a bridle bit brand on it. Bridle bit? Huh. I always thought cattle was up to something like this, but I never could prove it before. Well, sir, what have you got to say for yourself? He's not very sociable. He ain't said a word to me since we met. Boys, you better keep him in the bunkhouse. Ma and I is going to town in the morning and we'll take him along. Why don't you take care of those horses? Well, I'm uh, obliged to you, uh, uh... I didn't get your name. Uh, you didn't hear it. Oh. Oh, well, no matter. See, I got a nice prime bottle of bourbon up there in the house. <laughs> Say, Sheriff, if it's all the same to you, I missed dinner and... Uh... Oh, certainly, certainly. I'll, I'll just have my fix your snack. After the favor you done for me, nothing's too good. <laughs> oh, it wasn't so much a favor as keeping my property in good repute. Your property? Sure. The bridal bit belongs to me. Well, I haven't heard tell of Cantwell selling out. He hasn't. Cantwell's just running my ranch, that's all. Oh. Sure. Sure, it's your ranch. I, I, I just forgot. You sit right down there and, and make yourself quiet and rest. In a mighty hot day. There's a poor fellow out there says he's hungry. Reckon you can fix him a bite to eat? Land sakes, you know I can. Why don't you bring him in? I'm a scared to, Ma. 
He ain't exactly right. What do you mean? He's nutty. Crazier than a tick. He thinks he's the owner of Bridal Bit. He seems all right now, but sometimes they get violent. Goodness, ain't that sad, Joseph? Please don't call me Joseph. You did come. I always keep my word. But you shouldn't. It's frightfully dangerous. Oh, I had to see you again. Even if it was only for a minute. I know this isn't the healthiest place in the world for me, but you would pick a sheriff for an uncle. And the wolf for a friend. You'd better go now. Please. I'm frightened. Put up your hands in the name of the law. You keep out of this, Judy. You can't interfere with an officer. For land's sakes, Joseph, are you going to feed this man or shoot him? For the eighth millionth time, don't call me Joseph. You darn idiot, don't you see you're flirting with death? Put him up. Now, now. Don't you know you can't plug a man with an empty gun? I haven't seen you so mad since the Christmas I broke your bottle of liquor. I thought maybe we could talk things over more friendly like if I had these to begin with. On the liquor? You, King Wallace? Oh, I can't believe it. Do I get that plate of food now? You certainly do not. You'll come right in the house and have supper with us. It's almost ready. I believe your story, Keen. But I'm afraid I'll be obliged to put you under arrest. But I haven't taken anything except what belongs to me. That isn't any crime. How can Keen prove anything against Cantrell if you put him in jail? Who said anything about jail? I'm not the only man in the country who's looking for you. And if you are my prisoner, they'll have to lay off. I'm putting you on parole, so you will have free hands to prove your case against Cantrell. Uncle Joe, you're a dear. Gene, you come down and meet the bunkhouse, and I'll put you in right for the boy. Thanks. You're a square shooter, Joseph. In it, you start that, and I will put you in jail. Keen. Yeah, it's Keen. Keen's got a keen voice, see? Keen. 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> something you'd like to know, if you're willing to return the favor. Cantrell got to bragging one night when he was drunk about his smart trick in stealing the real will and forging another, leaving the ranch to him. He played a lone hand, shot your dad himself out on the range, made believe it was a wrestler. Wait, there's something else. He never destroyed the real will. Keeps it on him night and day. Why? He says that he's ace in the hole, in case he ever met up with you and wanted to buy his life with it. That won't save him. Need any help, Keen? Private business, buddy. Reckon if he'd have wanted us, he'd have said so. I used to know that song. It goes around the field of my king. All the boys are singing, singing all the way. Really, yippee, 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 all the way. Yippee, yippee, singing all the day. It's my hungry. I'm glad you come over and told me that, boy. But I don't want you to go busting over there tonight. But after waiting all these years, just to be sure, you can wait till morning then. Don't be too hasty. Cool down a bit. And always control your temper. I suppose you're right, Joseph. You call me that again? Again? And I'll... I'll... Oh, I'll never... Be... Practice enough for the wolf. We've got to get busy, Pete. I have more than one reason for wanting him out of the way. So you think he is... I uh... knew it the minute I laid eyes on him. He's a spitting image of the old man. That crack he made about my shoulder gun. He's Keen Wallace, all right. The wolf caught Jackson branding one of Flag's calves. The wolf? Well, what of it? Wh what of it? Why, he took Jackson to the ranch and turned him over to the sheriff. I trailed him. That's bad. Let me handle him, boss. Oh, this job is right up my alley. I'll pick a scrap with him, see? And I'll get the strangle hold on him. <laughs> I trips and down we go, and I'd give a little twist to the hey, neck. Just... His neck is a broken. Just an accident. It's a cinch. Boss, please, let me take care of him. It's a pipe. Say, tough guy, I settled many arguments with this. Simple, safe. A refined. Ah, you and your sticker. Say, when I croaks a guy, he stays croaked. Busted necks don't heal up like uh, scratches. Scratches, eh? I'll give you those scratch with this, you'll not forget. So you will, will you?
Cut it out, you two. You're liable to get hurt. Please, boss. Give me a crack at the wolf before I get out of practice. I'll handle this my own way. Tomorrow, I'll have Hank here go over to the Eight Bar Ranch. We'll be in Lone Pine. Are you keen, Wallace? Do. Listen, boss, why can't no. I? can talk things over in a friendly way. Meet me at the Lone Pine Saloon. Cantrell. Why? That crazy young coot is gonna walk right into a trap. Come on here, boys. Boys, we've got to go on, get him help. Come, come on, come on. Come on, Come on, come on, come on. That's gratitude for you. This is sure a dead cow. He's coming.
There's no one inside. He's gone. What's your order, Jen? Not knowing how friendly you'd be, thought I'd better come in the back way. I'm going to give you an even break, Cantrell. I'll put up my gun, and we'll both draw. You cow gents are pretty handy with your gun, but I ain't seen one of you yet who can handle his mitts. You better keep out of this, fella. You don't dare put on your gun and fight like a man. You're yellow, that's what's the matter with you. Listen, will the rest of you fellows see that I get a square deal and don't get plugged in the back if I put down my gun? You bet you will. <laughs>
Now get him on his feet. What's going on here, don't worry. What is it? Say, Keen, here's... He did leave the ranch to King. Isn't that wonderful, Joseph? I mean, Joe. Molly, I'm so happy. I don't care if you call me Josephine. <laughs> 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 